So on the aisle with me, Charles Gross and Leslie Hilton Blake. Tonight reviews of The Unsinkable Molly Brown, Harry Townsend's Last Stand, Anatomy of a Suicide, 72 Miles to Go, and The Perplexed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two on the Aisle. And hello, everybody. And you may wonder, or you may not be, why we are doing well, you may have noticed we're using a different theme song tonight. Oh. Now, those of you who grew up in the city or near it and are of a certain age will recognize that tune as the opening theme from Wonderama. That was a children's show that played on Channel 5, back then known as WNEW, for many years. But in fact, the song originates from the musical The Unsinkable Molly Brown. And this was Meredith Wilson's uh, follow-up to The Music Man. Now we are going to have a lesson in modern theater. In the good old days, it used to be that you go to the theater, it was 8 o'clock every night. Well, some nights it's 8 o'clock, some nights it's 7 o'clock, some nights it's 7.30. And you have to know which it is or you're going to be in trouble. In the middle of it all is Danny Burstein who comes on stage and he, you know, singing in this outlandish outfit, uh, singing, will come, oh, I'm sorry, no, uh, wrong show. <laughs> well, the interesting thing is Cabaret, I think, is the only show they don't take any Very music from. But, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting for the night where Joel Gray comes out with him. In fact, you know what? Oscar, uh, no, Tony's, you have your next opening. You have them both come out for the opening number. Broadway, he's back. <laughs> For the past 30 years, our guest Gerard Alessandrini with his show Forbidden Broadway has been to the Broadway theater what Weird Al Yankovic has been to pop music oh. and Mad Magazine <laughs> has been to everything else. And now he is back with vengeance with a new show of Forbidden Broadway was MS DOS. His new show, Spamilton, is the windows of Forbidden Broadway. And we are so happy to have him with us this evening, Gerard. Thank you. Welcome. Thank Hi, you. Gerard. I'm glad to still be at bat. And oh. Thank you for having me on. George Bernard Shaw was a, an early feminist. He totally believed in the equality of the sexes. His, his marriage Absolutely. was based on the equality of the sexes. And, and he, he never bothered to consummate it. Yes, that's the whole point, yes. But anyway, so... so that's he, not equal. That's no, that's, that's, I know. That's, he was a vegetarian. But anyway, it was... I didn't realize one came with yes, the other. Yes, well, you know, and Hitler, too. But um, Hitler was a vegetarian. You're, you're not promoting vegetarians <laughs> No, I'm very not. Well. My, my kids are all vegetarians.